these look exactly like cheeseburger spring rolls from Sutui Canteen in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> Amanda here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are going to do a fall finds video. So we're going to go to the Trader Joe's. Um, we're obviously going to get a pumpkin spice. Um, so with that being said, definitely follow along for some fall finds. We'll do a maybe a haul at the end. And it is 74 degrees here in Georgia, but we need to hold on to any positivity here in 2020 and pumpkin everything brings me so much joy so definitely follow along give this video a like subscribe hit that bell to get notified every time i upload let's get into this full finds vlog Just pulled in to Trader Joe's. I went through the drive-thru for Starbucks, of course, got a pumpkin cold brew. So it's it's black coffee with pumpkin foam on top. I'm gonna sip on this. Need to tell you some music favorites I have been loving. Obviously, you guys know I am obsessed with Taylor Swift. The folklore album is absolutely amazing so that's definitely on repeat and then Casey Ballerini came out with her um, next album Ballerini and it is really good there's some great hits um, on there let's see what else am I currently listening to the long live from Florida Georgia line that's their new single so I'm obsessed with that let's see what else obviously I have a Disney instrumental playlist um, so in the mornings when I'm just chilling sipping on some coffee that Disney instrumental comes in clutch but those are the three out the two albums I've been listening to on repeat the most especially when I have my airpods on at work Ugh. You guys need to go listen to those albums. All the fall vibes here right now. I'm in all black with a flannel wrapped around my waist. And I got my Wicked nail polish on from SC. It is not black. It's like a dark purple. But I'm all about that pumpkin and dark vampy looks. Um, it is, like I said, 70 degrees over here. So it's all good. I am going to take in my phone to film in Trader Joe's. Every single time I vlog, I end up not getting in trouble, but getting just too much attention. And if I'm not with Iz, I don't know if attention is great to have being alone, being a girl alone. You know what I'm saying? So I am sitting here trying to finish my pumpkin cold brew. I know that they have, have pumpkin bread, bagels, pretzels, pancakes. They have the maple leaf cookies, pumpkin butter, pumpkin protein smoothie, and the butternut squash mac and cheese. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you a lot of things, um, but I might not buy everything. The biggest thing I am in here for is the yogurt covered pumpkin cookies. And I got them for my store. My girls like loved them. So I think I'm gonna pick up um, a few boxes for them. And yeah, so I'll take you guys in. I am almost done. I just finished my pumpkin cream cold brew. What an awesome filter. super popular on Instagram. We also have the Hearts of Tom Pasta. I saw that on Instagram. These are the pumpkin cookies. 
I was looking for. We scored really big. I also saw a lot of videos and posts about the fall harvest and the maple butter as well as I haven't seen these but I really don't need them in my diet, the uh, pop tarts. We also have the we also have the butternut squash mac and cheese, super super popular. Um, one thing that did catch my eye, I don't even think this is supposed to be on this end cap, but these look exactly like cheeseburger spring rolls from Sutui Canteen in Animal Kingdom. Just got home from Trader Joe's and Five Below. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I did get these pizzas for Izzy. He loves them for his lunch. If I'm not here, he will pop this in the oven. We also got some plantain chips. These only have plantains and oil and salt, so highly recommend. I did pick up the pumpkin spice cookies. I'm literally obsessed with these. Um, they taste so good. It actually reminds me of when we first moved here. I picked these up and I brought them to work. They taste so good. And they're actually yogurt covered. The nutritional facts aren't great. Let's see the grams of sugar. 13 grams of sugar for four cookies. It's not good. Not good for you. We did pick up the pumpkin raviolis. I definitely can saute this in a pan with some onions. I picked up the face wash from Trader Joe's with tea tree oil. This melts off my makeup like that. It also hydrates my skin because I have super, super dry skin. I did pick up just more seasonings that I needed. These weren't really fall related, um, but just onion salt. I put this on my eggs and it tastes so good. And then just regular garlic powder. Two more things, almond butter from Trader Joe's. We love the chunky one like this. Um, I love to put it on toast and then put strawberries on top. It's kind of a sweet treat with like maybe a black coffee in the morning. Last but not least, maybe my thing I'm most excited for is the pumpkin body butter. So this pumpkin body butter um, is limited edition, so I did get it. Um, I am still working through the cucumber one from summer, so I'm gonna definitely save that. Maybe I can use it when it's actually cold out here. I didn't really a vlog in Five Below. There were so many people in there. But I got some shirts. I got this Wonder Woman shirt. Villain shirt. This Jack shirt. Really into wearing the biker shorts with the baggier top. It is so, so comfortable, whether it's here or Disney. It's just super comfortable. 
So that is it for this vlog. Let me know in the comments below your favorite pumpkin item for the season and definitely give this a like, subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload. I love you guys so much. Don't forget you're never told to wish. Keep dreaming. Bye.